Okay, I'm going to quickly take you through some of the components included with the advanced HMI software. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab a momentary button, drag and drop it onto the form, let me move it into position, and go over to the properties window, and we're going to find the button color. Now once you see, I can change my button color from green to red. Um, also, I've got black, or blue, I'm sorry, um, black, a black selector, and a red mushroom. It looks like an e-stop. So let me change that back to black. And I'm going to scroll down and show the um, output type. Now this is how it acts on the bit within the PLC. See our options momentary set, momentary reset, set true, set false, and toggle. The momentary set by default means when the button's being held, the bit will be true. When it's released, the bit goes false. And momentary reset is, of course, the reverse of that. Okay, so the next component we're going to take a look at is the pilot light. So let me go over here to the toolbox, grab a pilot light, drag and drop it onto the form. Uh, let me reposition this thing, do a little bit of resizing on it. Okay, now that I'm done playing with that, let me get over to the properties window and let's go down to the button color. Yes, that's probably mislabeled. It should be pilot light color, but you see we can change it from a green to a red. Um, now we're going to change the um, legend text. And you see, we're going to change that from text. I'm going to type in pilot light. And you see it just gives us the um, label on the button. Now I'm going to go down here to the value property and you see. I want to change this from false to true. It'll give you an idea of what the button will actually, or the pilot light will look like when it's lit up. This is going to be controlled by the PLC address, of course. Okay, let's move on to the next component. Um, let me go over here and grab a gauge and drag and drop a gauge. Now, once that gauge comes up, I'm going to come over to the properties window and we see the um, first thing we're going to look at is a uh, max value. We can actually change the range on this gauge. See, if we want 200, you see the numbers change from 0 to 200. Um, you know, or you can set that to 50 is what I'm going to set at that. Now, now, it's going down and to the value as we looked at on the other one. You see, we can set the value and actually see the needle move in our design time. Um, now there's a value scale factor. I'm going to change my value to zero, um, set a scale factor to two. Right now no effect, but watch when I put 10 back in. The gauge goes to 20 because it's going to multiply by that scale factor. Okay, let me scroll up here to the um, gauge text and you see I can change the text and um, give some indication exactly what this gauge is measuring. I'm going to change from the word text, which is the default, to um, let's just make it um, PSI. We'll call it a, a pressure, air pressure gauge. Okay, let me go on to another component. I'm going to grab a, um, a meter and show a little bit about this meter. Um, I'm going to go down here to the value and let's just set a value um, just so you can see the needle move and you see there's a value scale factor that does the exact same things for the gauge. It'll multiply the value by this. Um, now I'm going to show you something interesting up here with max values and min values. See I could change it the same as I could for the gauge. Um, now let me show you if I set the max value and the min value to the opposite. I'm going to set 2 and negative 2. Oops, okay. Not a very good number since we're dividing by 6. Um, but you can see 0 now is the center. But let me go up here and set it to 3 and negative 3 so it scales it out a little better and we don't have so many decimal places. So now you can see I can come down here and change my scale to a 1 um, or negative 2 and you see it's zeroed center.
Okay, and as with the other gauge, I'm going to go up here and grab the gauge text, and you see I can edit this text and tell exactly what this um, meter is measuring. Okay, let me make some space and go grab one of my favorites, which is the digital panel meter, and let me drag and drop one to the form. Okay, now that's on the form, I'm going to go over here to my properties window and the first thing we're going to do is let's change the gauge text. Um, I'll just make up something and say my digital meter and you see it changes on the meter at the top. Um, now I'm going to come down here to the value and you see we can also put in a value and see what it's going to look like during runtime if that value is read from the PLC. We have a value scale factor which does the same as the others. Um, so now I'm going to come in here and the decimal position, you see I can make a decimal show up, kind of a tricky way I guess to do a scale factor. Um, now I'm going to go down here and um, in my value put a negative one and you see we get a, a negative. And that's about it. That's what I'm going to show for right now. And um, thank you for viewing my videos. Be sure to check out my other videos and learn more about the advanced HMI.